So the summer transfer window is closed. Man United ended the summer with five signings after getting four on deadline day in a mad rush. We've got Tellez, we've got Cavani, we've got Van der Beek, Palestri and Traore. But what was the overall window in terms of how good was it for United? I'm going to rank it out of 10, each individual transfer and also the overall window. So let me know in the comments below what your ranking is. Plenty of you did yesterday in the community tab. I'm going to do it in this video as well. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to United People's TV. And let's talk about the summer transfer window. So what I'm going to do is run through each transfer individually and give it a rating out of 10 just on its own merits. And with Donny van der Beek, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because it's a great player, a great price. We signed him within like 48, 72 hours, minimum fuss. It's exactly how you want every single United signing to be. In a dream situation, we would have had loads of Van der Beek type deals this summer. Uh, but we didn't. Now, Van der Beek was an opportunity that United took. And I think he will go on to be an excellent United player when he actually gets used. But on its own merits, Van der Beek, 8 out of 10. Next up is Alex Tellez. Another great player, I think, in a position where United needed to strengthen, absolutely. So I'm happy about the transfer. But I'm only giving this a 6 out of 10 because United dragged it the fuck out. Over a few million, we eventually got him for, I think, cheaper than we sold Smalling to Roma for. So we didn't even have to pay any money in terms of a net spend. But Tellez was just one example where United really dragged it out this summer where it wasn't completely necessary. So I'm giving it 6 out of 10 for the fact that we did sign Tell as a player who I think improves United's starting 11, but the negotiations in it were abysmal. Not abysmal, we got the player, but just painful, very painful. Next up is Ahmad Traore. We've paid, get this, nearly four, up to 40 million euros with add-ons for an 18-year-old who's got a handful of minutes for Atalanta's senior team in Serie A. But we wouldn't pay 120 million euros for Jadon Sancho in the same way that we were willing to pay upwards of 5 million, certainly upwards of 5 million for Cavani's agent fee, but we wouldn't pay an extra few million for Tellez. There's just some decisions in this window that just make you scratch your head. And Traore is an exciting signing, no doubt. If we paid that much for him, our scouts really, really do think he's going to be the real deal. And come January, we've got an exciting young winger on our hands who could light up the Premier League. But I'm only giving it a 6 out of 10 because we needed a senior right winger this summer. And we know we fucked up with Sancho completely. And Traore joins in January. So it doesn't solve our problems. It's exciting. United this summer, and I might even do a separate video on it, were brilliant with academy signings. But when it comes to senior signings, not so much. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10 on an individual basis because I'm excited by it. We didn't, we didn't sign Sancho, did we? We signed Cavani, though. Imagine, right, we went from having Jadon Sancho as United's new number seven, a 20-year-old, already a superstar, ready to light the world up for 10 years. And instead, we got a 33-year-old free transfer who left PSG this summer because they didn't want him anymore in Cavani. Now, Cavani may work out, and I hope it does. I hope he's an Ibrahimovic part two rather than a Sanchez part two. But we've gone from that, from Sancho to Cavani. I can only give him a 4 out of 10 because of that. I'm excited by Cavani. Look, if he does hold his fitness and he does score plenty of goals, it will be a shrewd, smart signing of an experienced player who can impart some knowledge on the younger players around him in the same way that Ibrahimovic did. But we still went from signing Sancho to signing Cavani on a free transfer. So I can't give it more than 4 out of 10. My opinion, you might disagree. Let me know in the comments below. And then you've got Facundo Pelestri, the 18-year-old Uruguayan joined from Penarol after Diego Forlan recommended him to United Scouts. We've been looking out for him and we signed him. But again, we've gone from Sancho to Pelestri. He's probably going to go in our first team squad. He's an 18-year-old, so technically should be coming into our academy teams, spending a bit of time there, getting used to new life in Manchester, getting used to new surroundings and getting used to the club. But instead, he's probably going to be thrust into the limelight Expected to make a difference for Solskjaer's starting 11 and probably in games against PSG, Arsenal, Chelsea and Leipzig. 
It's unfair expectation on a kid who has just secured his dream move, but very unlikely that he's going to make a massive difference straight away. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. Pelestri and Traore, I think both of them should almost be uh, rated differently or held separately because they're effectively youth signings. But because United's fucked up so much in the overall window, they're not youth signings. Traore will come straight into our starting 11. Not in our starting 11, sorry. Into our squad in January. Palestri will come straight into our squad now. Whereas we should have had someone like Sancho ready-made to come and change our starting 11. It is what it is. So I would rate that on an individual basis for all of those signings. And if I'm going to rate the overall activity that United did, it did sorry, in terms of selling players, I'm probably going to give it a 4 out of 10. And that's mainly because we got Alexis Sanchez off the books. But you've got Pereira went out on loan, Smalling joined Roma, Joel Pereira went out on loan, O'Hara was released, the lot went to AC Milan, quite, quite a lot happened. That's why I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. But the big problem this summer is we have players like Romero, Jones, Lingard, Rojo, all players on big contracts with big wages that we just could not get rid of. We wanted to get rid of them. We've been wanting to get rid of Rojo for like the last three transfer windows, but no bastard can afford him because we gave him a contract too big on wages that are too high and we can't get rid of him. That was a huge hamper, not a hamper, a huge straitjacket for United this summer. We need to be released of these players so we can move forward properly as a club. Instead, we've got players who we just can't get other clubs to sign because they're too expensive. That's our own fault. That's our own undoing. And I'm only giving that a 4 out of 10 for the players that left because we could have and should have done so much more. And with an overall transfer window review, I think you know where I'm going with this. And I genuinely cannot give it more than 3 out of 10. Because if I went into this summer, and I did go into this summer with expectations, my expectations this summer were well, we're going to sign a right winger, and Jaden Sancho should have been that man. That we're going to sign a top class centre back. And we didn't even get linked with one. Upper Mencano, we got linked. It was tentative. Koulibaly, more linked to City. And I personally think we needed a new defensive midfielder like Thomas Partey, available 50 million euros with a release clause, weren't even interested in. Those were my three key positions that we needed to strengthen. And we didn't strengthen fucking one of them. We got a left back on an opportunity because he only had a few months left on his contract. We got an attacking midfielder on an opportunity because Ajax told Van der Beek that he could leave. We got Cavani on an opportunity because he was a free transfer. We have gone bargain bucket this summer when we should have had the same sort of summer that Chelsea did when they backed their manager and they brought in the signings that they needed to do to strengthen the starting 11 to build on last season. Last season we finished third. Last season that we went into the summer with a real sense of optimism that hadn't been around United for some time. Bruno Fernandes inspired that and it was a perfect position to back a manager who all the fans uh, the fans loved, who knew the club and had the club's best interest at heart, to back him to build a squad that's capable of improving on that third place finish. But instead, United have just reinforced the same pattern and the same cycle. Jaden Sancho, that situation was fucking humiliating, embarrassing from United. It really was. Not willing to pay the money for Sancho but not willing to say that we're not willing to pay for it. We're going to let it go until the last damn day. Dortmund were firm on their stance on the 10th of August, and it felt like that very early in the summer, but still we hoped and we hoped and we hoped, and it was missed, misplaced hope because we embarrassed ourselves. We, didn't even, we hardly had a plan, let alone a backup plan this summer. And instead of signing Sancho and looking forward to this season now, we've just signed Pelestri, who could, you know, go on to do exciting things, but he's not going to be a player that changes our game every single week, which is what you need to take your level up. So I can't give it more than a 3 out of 10. And I genuinely think that's being generous because of the expectations that this summer had. 
it was the opportunity for United as a club to really just push away the past of the last five, six, seven years and say, look, this is a new look United. We're coming forward and we're coming up towards City and Liverpool to try and close that gap. But instead, we've widened the gap. Solskjaer now, for me, seems doomed. Seems it's guaranteed he'll be sacked and it'll be a case of when and not if. Because he hasn't been backed, he hasn't been given the tools he needs and therefore he will fail. It is now inevitable. And the pattern continues. And it just fucks me off that this summer was such an obvious, clear opportunity with such a long transfer window as well. It wasn't as if we were rushed. But instead of using that as the opportunity to really take this club forward, the Glazers, Woodward and Judge have just taken it further, further away from where it needs to be. Cavani might go on to be a good signing. Tellez, I'm sure it will be. Van der Beek, I'm sure will be. Pelestri and Traore, let's cross our fingers and hope. But this was a summer where we needed top quality injections into our starting eleven. Someone like Sancho on the right wing, someone like Partey in the midfield and someone like Upamecano at centre-back. Instead, we've been left with opportunities, cheaper signings and not what we really needed. The priorities were not achieved this summer and for me, it's a massive, massive failure this summer transfer window. Now, I'll be interested to know whether you agree on me and whether I'm too much doom and gloom. You can let me know in the comments below. But make sure you subscribe, please, to United T People's TV. We'll be, there's plenty more to talk about. I'm sure we will be doing it as well. I'm a little bit downbeat this morning, if I'm honest. I'm not surprised. But the fact that United made four signings on deadline day goes to show you how little planning there is at this club.